After eight takes of this video, I started drinking champagne. This is take number 11. All right, so I'm going to show you some stuff about actual execution plans. I'm going to be using SQL Server Management Studio 17.6 and SQL Server 2017 CU5. Your experience may be different on older versions of SQL Server and Management Studio. That is kind of the point. So what I have here is I have half a dozen tables, table A through F. I'm not putting any data in there, just creating half a dozen tables so that I can have some different query uh, results from my branching. Then I'm going to go create a stored procedure that's got some branching in it. I'm going to do a select of just a string. Hey, this shows up. Then I'm going to check the date and time. If we're in the first 10 seconds of a minute, go get data out of table A. If we're in the second 10 seconds, go get data out of table B. Third 10 seconds, go get data out of table C and so forth. I bet lots of your own stored procedures have branching logic in them. You're just not branching on the current time. I'm doing this to randomly get different execution plans based on when I run it. Then I'm going to finish up by selecting another string. Let's go through and run this stored procedure. First, we'll create it, and then we'll go through and run it. And I'm going to turn on actual execution plans just to make sure that I can see what this thing is actually doing, right? Let's execute it. And I get my first string, my empty table, and my third string. Let's look at the execution plan. And there's no scroll bar here. And I only have two queries. Remember, my stored procedure produced three results. Here's my execution plan. Go select me a string, then go get stuff out of table A. Just so happened when I ran it, this was the first 10 seconds of the minute. Let's go through and run it again. If I run it again, I get a different execution plan because now we're at a different moment in time. But you know what the actual execution plan doesn't show you? The if branches that led you to this select. It doesn't help you troubleshoot how you got to this point. You might be thinking, well, Brent, maybe it's a bug in Management Studio and the way that it renders query plans. Let's go look at the XML. I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to say, show me the XML. And if I go in to look at the queries, here's the first statement. Select top one. This shows up. If I go down a little further, I get Here's the select from my table, but that's table E. And there's nothing in here about the if that led us to this point, nor is there anything about the other tables. Another thing that you could might uh, have looked at in the past is you might have right clicked up in the query area and clicked edit query text. That seems to have been really hit or miss in SSMS 17. Instead, what you usually have to do is go off to the right, and there's this little button over here that says Edit Query Text. That usually seems to be there. And when you click on it, you don't get the actual query. You don't get that it was in a stored procedure. You don't get the if branches. You don't even get all the queries. For example, remember, we have three queries in this. One of them is a select of a string. You simply don't see it here. These are some of the gotchas with actual execution plans in Management Studio and SQL Server 2017. Now, what you might be next asking is, well, how does this impact the tuning that I do from the plan cache? Because I bet a lot of us like to use SP Blitz cache to go analyze which queries run the most frequently, which ones there, what kind of branching we have in stored procedure. Let's go see how that looks. Now, in order to see how it looks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow the plan cache. I'm going to run the stored procedure once, and then I'm going to go use SP Blitz cache to analyze what's inside my plan cache. I'm going to turn off actual execution plans because I don't need to see that for all this stuff. So let's first blow the plan cache and run the proc. Now let's go look and see what's inside our plan cache. Now, if there are those of you who haven't used SP Blitz cache before, it's like a leaderboard. It gives you the top 10 queries that suck the most on your server. This is why I call it the sucker board instead of the leaderboard. So I have a stored procedure here, create procedure, many branches. And then I've got the two of the statements, but not all. 
that ran inside that stored procedure. Notice also that it shows you you have a procedure, DBO many branches, and then there's a couple of statements that belong to that stored procedure. So one of the things that I love about tuning with the plan cache is, no, I don't see all of the statements, but I see the ones that ran the most often and burned up the most resources. Because watch this. I'll go run many branches several times in a row. Then I'll go back and look at SP Blitz cache. Now with SP Blitz cache, what it's going to show me is it's going to show me the stored procedure plus the branches that ran inside there and how many times they ran. I'm going to drag executions over here so that it's a little easier to see. You can see that this thing has been run several times. The stored procedure has been run eight times altogether. And table A has shown up five times out of there. It's a more resource intensive query than the one table F, which seems to run less often based on our branching. When you want to tune which query inside a stored procedure is using the most resources, generally you'll look at a stored procedure and then start tuning from the top down. But what happens when you want to click on that query plan? Because maybe this is a lot bigger than just select star from table A. What happens if you want to go click on that query plan and see what's inside of it? Am I going to get the estimated plan or the actual plan? Let's click on it and see. Well, you're actually not going to get either of them because remember just a second ago when I dragged the executions column over? There's another bug in SSMS. It shows you the current or whatever was in the original column that you clicked on, but query plan has moved over since I ran this query. SSMS is basically caching whatever was in that column first. So I got to go rerun SP Blitz cache again so that I can click on the right column. And now I'm going to be able to go click on, say, to select star from table A, go click on him. And here's the execution plan. Now, this is kind of a good news, bad news situation. Let's get them all on the same screen so that y'all can see them a little better because Microsoft seems to want to pad these with a million lines whenever it opens a plan. I could go on and on for days, but I've only had one glass of champagne so far. So what you have here is the equivalent of the estimated plan. The estimated plan shows you all the different branches so that you can see what this thing would have done. Here's our select uh, with the first string. Our select with the last string is down here. Then in the middle, I see all of my if branches. If this time, then do this. If this other time, then do this. And all my selects. You notice, though, when I clicked here to get here, I was clicking specifically on the line for select star from table A. You might think that when you click this query plan, you're only going to get the select from table A. Unfortunately, we can't do that because SQL Server caches plans across the entire batch level. So I get the query plans for the entire stored procedure. I don't see that as a bug. That's, that's not so bad. But when I'm doing performance tuning, especially of something like this with a whole bunch of branches in it, when I click on the query plan, you're just not going to be able to tell which branch you should go tune. Looking at this, this is an estimated plan. If I hover my mouse over operators in this plan, all I get is estimated numbers, not actuals. I don't know how many times this particular branch actually executed. So estimated plans it really does mean estimated. We're est seeing the estimate of the whole plan to understand which branch you need to tune. That's where you got to use tools like SP Blitz Cache, which will tell you which branch showed up the highest and most frequently. You can use, I'm going to scroll across a little here. You can use the executions column, which will tell you how many times each of those branches ran. Whenever you do this, though, I would just give you one piece of advice. Continue scrolling across, and you'll get the created at and last execution. When a server's having performance problems, it may be clearing out the plan cache fairly frequently. So you want to see how far back of history you have. And also, is this something that only runs once every now and then, or is it running even up to the minute as of right now? All right. I think that's one complete take. Hallelujah. Woo!